faith can be seen in action mm -hmm. and faith can be heard by the words that people speak. And she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, and the Bible says in Mark chapter 5, verse 29, straightway, immediately, she touched the, the robe of Jesus, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And you can read the rest of the story in your own time. But Jesus did say to her in verse 34, he said, Daughter, thy faith, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. I want you to turn to another scripture, and this one is in Luke. We've been in Mark, so we'll turn to Luke. And Luke was a doctor. Did you know that Jesus had a medical doctor in his team? Well, he did. <laughs> Dr. Luke. In Colossians, Paul refers to Luke as the beloved physician. And Luke, he was inspired by God to write uh, not only Luke's gospel, but also the Acts of the Apostle, the historical account of the work of the Holy Spirit through the Apostles. And in Luke chapter 17 and verse 12, the Bible says this, As Jesus entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers. And they stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Verse 14, and when he, that is Jesus, when he saw them, he said unto them, Go and show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Notice those words. It came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Who were cleansed? Ten lepers were cleansed. Ten lepers came. Ten lepers cried out. Asked for mercy. Asked for help. Jesus responded. Sent healing power into their bodies. Cleansed them. And the Bible says, As they went, they were cleansed. Verse 15. And one of them. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, he turned back. And with a loud voice glorified God. And he fell down on his face at the feet of Jesus. Why? Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Samaritan shouldn't have dealings with the Jews and vice versa. Ah, but Jesus was different. <coughs> Verse 18. Verse 17, rather. Jesus responded to the man, worshipping him and thanking him. Jesus asked this question. Were there not ten cleansed? Answer, yes, there were. Were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Where are the nine? Question again. Where are the nine? Where are the nine? Oh, the nine, they're enjoying, they're enjoying being clean. They're enjoying being back in society. But sadly, they are forgetting who it was that cleansed them. And they are forgetting the cost of their cleansing. Because at this time, Jesus had not yet suffered. But we know, if we're a Bible student, and if we're a child of God, we know that their cleansing would cost Jesus every bit of life that he had. Because he was crucified upon the cross to pay the penalty for the sin of every man, woman, boy, and girl. And the Bible says when Jesus was flogged prior to being nailed to the cross, the Bible says by his stripes we were healed. Where are the nine? Were there not ten claims? Yes. Where are the nine? 
I'm so glad this evening that if the Lord were to ask, where is the lady who lay at the point of death in Witch Cross Hospital for many days? Where is she? Well, she's here. Was she cleansed? Was she made whole? Was she healed? Yes. Well, where is she? Ah, she's here. As if he doesn't know that already. Thank God she's here. And thank God we're here to join in the thanksgiving, to join in the celebration. The Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks Amen. unto the Lord. Yes, it is. We can't do too much of it. So Jesus asked the question, were there not ten cleansed? The answer is, yes, there were. He asked the question, where are the nine? Verse 18, there are not found that return notice to give glory to God. That's what we're doing this evening. We're giving all the glory, all the praise, all the honor to God. Hallelujah. Hallowed be thy name, Lord God Almighty. There are not found that we turn to give glory to God, but the stranger. And Jesus said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. I'm almost through. Just want to look with you at some Psalms, verses of the Psalms. I may turn to some, but I do have them written down in my outline. So uh, you may just want to sit and listen. And if you say, well, that was a good one. Where was that found? I will happily give you the uh, reference afterwards. So give me about uh, three minutes or so and I'm finished. I'm not finished, but what I want to share with you is finished. <laughs> and I will hand back. Uh, not a good thing to say I'm finished. In case somebody takes me up on that. Says you were finished before you started, Jim. Psalm 86, verse 12. I like this. Psalm 86, verse 12. I believe the best translation of the Bible is the King James Version. Do I use other translations? Yes, yeah. I do. I check them. I find them useful. I find them helpful. But the King James Version is the best translation Amen. of the Scriptures that you will ever find. And if you don't agree with that, tough. <laughs> Psalm 86 verse 12 in the New Living Translation it says this with all my heart that's why I've chosen this translation David said with my whole heart this one says with all my heart I will praise you O Lord my God I will give glory to your name forever notice verse 13 it's as if our sister Sheila wrote these words to her Lord. For your love for me is very great. Indeed it is, Sheila. He loves you. He died for you. He bears the nail prints in his hands. He has your name engraved on his hands. Hallelujah. You're the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. Your love for me, says David, speaking to the Lord, your love for me is very great. Notice, he says, you have rescued me from the depths of death. Yes, indeed he has. And we praise him this evening. Amen? Amen. How about Psalm 103, verse 1, New Living Translation. Praise the Lord. King James, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. New Living Translation. Praise the Lord. I tell myself. I like that. We need to do that. We need to stir ourselves up. David says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes, we need to do that. We need to do that again and again and again. We need to stir ourselves up. Paul said to Timothy, Tim Timothy that he was, he said, Timothy, stir up the gift of God that is in you. Brothers and sisters, friends watching this, let us stir ourselves up. Let our praise Low to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Come on soul. Come on. Praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. We need to do that. Praise the Lord I tell myself. With my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Verse 2 Psalm 103. Praise the Lord I tell myself. Notice. And never forget the good things 
that he does for me. No, let's never forget. Notice, he forgives all my sins. And hallelujah, he heals all my diseases. 